let's not talk about the chair. The 3D text can make your designs pop a lot more, as well as on things like YouTube thumbnails or anything where you need text to stand out from the background. Now in Affinity Designer, it's actually super easy to make. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's jump on in and let's get to it. So right now I've got everything set up, which is basically a new artboard, which has a background of white just for the sake of it. So to make this, and it, like I said, it is really simple. What you would do is head to the text tool and let's make a, a box here and let's just name this 3D text. I'll make it all caps just for the, the design. And what we'll do is let's make this white in the foreground and in the background, make it black. So this is what we start off with. Now with, you can do this with any text and it's the same steps. So if we zoom in here, what we would do is duplicate this layer, which you can either do by right clicking on this artboard section here and hit duplicate or on the keyboard hit control or command on a Mac and J. And you can see there another one's turned up there. With this second one, if you grab the text and just pull it down and to the right a little bit. Or if you wanted to make the 3D text in a different direction, you'd pull it into the different direction. For example, if we wanted to make it down and to the left, you'd pull it slightly that way. If you want to make it up and to the right, pull it that way. And up to the left, you can pull it that way. So we're going to just make it so it's down and to the right this time. And it is only a little bit you'd want to do. Now, if you find when you're trying to move that text layer that you're snapping onto things where, well, you don't really want to be snapping to. It's probably because you've got the snapping already on. So if you turn that off, you can actually move this a little bit easier and you've got a bit more control over it as well. So if we leave it like that. So Affinity Designer has this sort of smart duplicating effect where when you duplicate something, and move it slightly or change it slightly and you continue duplicating it, it kind of creates it in certain steps. So if I show you here, we've duplicated that, we've moved it slightly. If we hit Control and J again, you can see that each duplication is moved by that slight amount again and again. Now you just continue to hit Control and J up until you're happy with how 3D it looks. And you might be thinking, hang on, we were supposed to be making it down and to the right, not up and to the left. The reason for that is, is that each duplication you make stacks on top of the previous one. So the very, very first text that we made is at the bottom of this list here. So we'd grab this one, bring it all the way to the top. And you grab the rest of these. So if you click on the first layer of the background and hold shift and click the last one and select them all. And what we can do is change the fill to black. And you've got some nice 3D text. Now, the next thing that you can do is if you group all of these layers together, so with just Control or Command G, you can group them so you know then that that is your background 3D effect and you've got your text here. So what we can do now is if you grab the text layer we have and the 3D background and group these together and now head into the effects panel and turn on the outline and make this slightly bigger, you can see you get a really nice rounded effect on everything. So if we just make that one pixel and I'll show you the difference here. So if we turn that off, I'll turn it on, it just gives it a bit more of a standing out effect, but it is more personal preference, but it's up to you if you want that or not. So there we have our 3D text. Now the slight things to think about when you're ever you're making this is try to be sure of what you want the text to say before you make it 3D. Because if I want to change this now, what I would have to do is basically start from the start or head into this text file and let's say we wanted to make this I don't know 4d text you'd have to head into each one of these 3d background text layers and change the 3 to a 4 every single time and if you've duplicated this let's say 20 30 times can be quite annoying so just be sure what you want the text to be before you make it and the other thing as well is if you wanted to change which direction the 3D effect was in. So we've got it going down and to the right. If you wanted to make it down to the left, you definitely have to make it again, or you could reposition all the texts. 
in a different way which could get quite tedious what you can do is if you happen to want it instead of down and to the right you'd want it up and to the left what you could do is grab the very very top text layer within your group make the fill color white bring this out of the group move the one that you were using beforehand into the group and make that fill color black and now you've got it up and to the left instead so if you made it to begin with where it was down and to the left you can then change it so it's up and to the right or if you made it down and to the right it can be up and to the left so you can edit in that way but if you wanted to change it from let's say down and to the right to down and to the left yeah you'd have to just make it again it'd be a lot easier so if we head back to how it was and what's really good with this as well is if we want to change the background color of the 3d text so we've got this group already here so if we grab this group change the fill color to let's say a nice sharp red we'll change the stroke layer to red as well so as you can see if we keep it as black you'll have this extra little black layer here which if you like the look of it feel free to keep it but if you want to keep it so that the background is all the same color make it the same color as well and then going back into the effects panel and change this color to the same red that we have here as well as the stroke of the main text and there we have now it's red background so there are a few steps to change the color of the background and you'll know if you've missed one because it will just look strange so let's say if we've missed changing the stroke of the front one you can see that there's a black outline um, if we ended up changing and forgetting to change the stroke of the background you can see there's a black outline or if we ended up changing the yeah, background fill that would be pretty obvious so yeah so that is exactly how to make some 3d text if you wanted to add some more of a 3d effect to this i would suggest just deleting this group layer and kind of starting from the start because you can just hit Control and j as many times as you want and then you can always delete some if you find that it's too many it does come a little bit with practice in knowing how many you want because it can be a bit deceptive in how many times you're pressing it to how 3d you actually make it as well as how far you make that first duplicated layer how far you move it across before you're continually duplicating it again and again now one final thing that can make this look a lot better as well is if you have this group layer selected and if you hover your mouse over let's say the top middle of the selection area the arrows turn into a left and right arrow or if you can do it through the up and down side here if you click and drag like this you can skew the text so it has a bit more of an angle on it so it can look like it's laid flat on something and it has a raised up effect off of what you have so it can give it more of another effect to make it look a little bit more 3d but at the end of it that is exactly how you can make some 3d text really simply definitely give it a go let me know how you get on with it so that is how you can make some super easy 3d text in affinity designer if you have any questions then drop them in the comments i'll answer them the best i can if you enjoyed this video and learned something new definitely give it a like and subscribe for some more super easy design videos like this feel free to follow me on instagram twitter and twitch all those links are in the description below and as always i've been brown bear thank you for watching and i'll see you next time